Christian Association of Nigeria, CAM, have your state chapter raising consent that the state government is about taxing God with the demand that every church signpost must pay the costs for erecting such a publicity area. Good morning once more. So the Abia State Signage is an advertising agency. is meant to primarily regulate uh, the use of advertising, especially structures in the state. And what I mean by structures are those that you see as visible advertising. Uh, you talk about the billboards, you talk about um, lampposts, you talk about anything that has a structure that is placed anywhere around the state. Uh, the secondly, as an advertising agency, we're also supposed to be the brand, the face of the brand of uh, Abia State. So we will do branding uh, for Abia, projecting it in a positive light. Um, uh, then also we are supposed to uh, beautify the state as well through, um, of course, there is a bit of a, um, overlap in some other agencies that are also with that, but uh, we, we also also beautify the, agent, the state is also part of what we do. Okay, so looking at one of your, uh, from which is to beautify the state. You know, now look around. When you look around, both here in Omaha and probably in Aba, um, are you comfortable with state of things in terms of the aesthetics? You talk about beauty, you know, of the state capital, probably the commercial hub of the state, which is Aba. What's your assessment of how things are there? Okay, so. Uh what we see as beauty or what i see as beautifying is well let's talk about the basics so the state is clean um the, the dust is not overgrown by grass the buildings are good the um in terms of signage for instance you don't have clutter so you don't have a lot of useless boards everywhere that you know clutter the the, the landscape and then um, you know, the, the, the place is basically looking clean. That's the way I see it. So beautification also is also part of, so you have things like monuments, you have all these fountains, so that's like the secondary level. Mm -hmm. But primarily, a beautiful city is one where it is basically clean, the, 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 the horizon is clear of clutter, mm -hmm. and then you have other things that make it aesthetically appealing. So when you look at the signposts, yeah. you know, uh, because you talked about issue branding and all that, look mm -hmm. at the signposts. Uh, I don't think there's any street or major road that you go to now, you will not see signposts, you know, of uh, maybe of a particular company or any outlets whatsoever now when you look at all this do you think they are well planned well the way they erect this uh, signpost and all that would you say they follow the lay down procedure which your own agency is supposed to be championing at this time okay no i wouldn't say that they do and that is part of what we're doing so when i started what i what i, I set out to do was to clean up so you would have heard or oh, um we're going to be bringing down boards that are um that have not been registered or boards that we don't know who own them and all of that so that is part of what we started doing then we you would also notice that in some of those boards we have put please remove uh, because we tell them we have to give them notice to please remove them before we actually go and take them down that is part of what the law says that we should do so we do that then we also now mapping the streets you would have seen some of our staff along the roads trying to map the streets because there's also a law that says that a board should not be like the billboard there, there's a distance that they should maintain in order for them to they, they don't come to the agency to um, align with us on what they are supposed to put everybody just starts a shop and then puts up whatever it is they want to put there so that has been um, a bit of a, has given us some difficulty in maintaining um, the standards that we want to maintain but I feel that gradually I mean it has been done over the last 20 something years it's extremely difficult to now just expect that people within a few months that they are going to be doing exactly what you want them to do because if you look at um, when I came we met a lot of what they call lampposts or, or divider what they call road dividers okay. so anybody that just wants to do a program will wake up and go and put a road divider somewhere and then when they finish the program they leave it there they don't even is it the one that they hang on the yes yes on those lamp posts some are actually even put as just woodwork mm -hmm. by the side of the median mm -hmm. you would have seen those mm -hmm. before uh, so we said no that that's not proper you can't just go doing anything you like so we we stopped the use of all of that completely and then we made these um uh, plates that you can and you would see them somewhere no more here they're actually metal plates that's are properly positioned and well constructed so that when you finish we will bring it down and another person can put theirs on it so you are a revenue generating uh, agency for the government yes yes we are revenue generating as well so uh, obviously you must have a revenue target what is it like <laughs> it's about a hundred million a hundred and fifty million monthly no, 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 no. yes okay yes all right so uh, this issue of uh, I don't know if you've had, because personally, we've had uh, complaints here and there, especially from politicians. Mm -hmm. You know, the November 2 uh, local yes. government election, you know, and they have come here to complain that they've not been able to erect their billboards simply because your agency uh, is billing them so much. Some say it's about one million naira, mm -hmm. you know, per billboard and all that, and that it's on the high side. They cannot afford it. 
Is that part of the target you were giving? No, and, and the information is wrong. It's not okay. a million naira per bill, but that, would, that is so outrageous. Mm -hmm. It is a million naira to get a license to do whatever you want to do, whether it is world, whether it is you want to brand the world, whether you want to brand your vehicle, whether you want to put as many billboards as you want. It's a million naira to get the license, and for chairman, chairman, then for the councillors, it's 500,000. And we have said that as a councillor, you can actually ride on the back of your chairman. That is, you have if you have the picture of your chairman on your poster, it covers you as well. So you don't even have to pay if you don't want to. You can ride on the back of your chairman to do to, to work with his license to, to do your own advertising. So, what you're saying is that maybe if I'm vying for chairmanship position, now, yes. I can get like as many as I want. As many billboards as, as yes, as a license. You're just getting a license. Here. Yes. For how long? So whatever period you're supposed to advertise, if it's ten, if it's one, well, three months or two months or two weeks or whatever it is that you're supposed to advertise, it's just a license, it's not per board. Okay. That information is wrong. You know that uh, this election is just some few days away. If somebody pays one million, you know, to erect his, uh, what's it called, his poster and all that, just for two weeks, can the person still use it after election to do something else? Or is it, must it be that particular, for that particular purpose? Okay, we don't expect that people are going to start building their own boards. Most boards that exist now are owned by practitioners. So basically all you're doing is printing a flex and mm -hmm. putting it on the board. Yeah. So you're not building a board per se. But the point you, you're making is uh, oh, that the time is too short. But remember that we didn't do this just now. We, they, we did not just come up with that approval on uh, that um, fee of one million just immediately the election started. This is something that had been planned from time. So if there were shifts in the dates of the elections or whatever, it is not, it's not for, for, for us to now begin to change it. I feel that a lot of people should come to the office and come and have a discussion and you know on what it is that you're on ground. Um, it's not, it's not a, how do I say it? It's not something that is cast in stone. Mm -hmm. So it's where, where we have a human face, and I think that we can work. Yeah, maybe because we've now been coming out with some level of sensitization to, you know, tell people and audience exactly what we are supposed to be doing, you know, at the agency there, and their own responsibility as well, because most people may not know exactly what you just explained to me now. It's on, we put out a press release, and it was carried on BCA. It's been on running on BCA. It's been running on other stations as well, including Love FM. Mm -hmm. As a regulatory body, yeah. do you also tell them where to set up or put up their billboards, you know, for people to... Oh, yes, as I said just now, we, I talked about about mapping the roads. Mapping means that you know between one board and another there should be like a hundred meters or something. Mm. Um, you know, so you will tell them no. You, you you come and ask for approval to uh, set up a board. We will tell you oh it's too close to this one or it's too close to that one. You have to remove it and move it there. We have another space somewhere else we can offer you. But as a space it will not work. Your enforcement team do they check all these things you're pointing? Yes, because that's we have right. seen cases where exactly. the roads are very close. They yes. are everywhere. Yes, it's, yeah. but you see, it's not. We don't just want to go and start chopping down boards. We, we there are some we place and say people move. But you see, the, the environment here is like if you begin to chop down boards, we know the government has come to chop down people's boards. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of negotiation going on. And we said, okay, we're going to give you time. This by next year, we expect that things would work better. So you've been doing this for a while, and you've been get, get, getting you know it's been okay for you. Mm -hmm. But help us to work it out better. Mm -hmm. So we've been there negotiations that have been going on. If you ask most of the practitioners, they'll tell you that. So, so the one million naira for mm -hmm. these uh, uh, these other people that. You talked about don't you think it's a bit on the high side one million naira in this present economic situation that everybody is facing in this country well it's it's as i said it's it's not something that's neither here nor there this was taken at, at uh, this um decisions were not just taken immediately and as i said i have not seen any chairman coming to me to say oh what can we do about this? This is this or this is that. You understand? It's not, you don't come on air to start talking about something. You have not even come to the agency to ask questions. Yes, that is what it is that was approved to be done. But I expect people should even come to the agency and let us talk about it. Do you understand what I'm saying? So uh, that, I, that I have a target to me does not have, does not mean that there's no leeway for us to do these things. Mm. So there can be some level of negotiations. There can be. Okay. So now the issue, uh, the one that is raising controversy now is the Christian Association of Nigeria uh, can. You know, I'm sure you've heard the complaint. In fact, they've written to the governor saying that it appears that the governor wants to start taxing God. You know, and uh, the situation is: Did you? What exactly is going on? Are you saying that they should be paying for the signpost, or what exactly? We need to know. Okay, so firstly, um, I, I, look, I looked at that letter, and it's really interesting to see that the date the letter was released to the press is the same day that the letter was signed. So it actually hasn't even gotten to the governor. I would have expected that it would get to the governor, and then there will be the, the, the governor will be given a chance to, you know, have a discussion with them because they did state it there. If it's really can that release the letter, they did state it there that they would like a one-on-one -on -one with the governor. And I felt that it was a bit preemptive for it to have come out into the air when the letter had not even gotten for, to the governor for him to react. Um, but specifically to the question that you're asking. The, the churches have their boards. They have their boards within their premises. So if you have a board that is about like a 10 by 5, the agency will not actually not ask you for that board. 
However, if you don't have a board outside of your premises, and you know churches do have a lot of boards outside of their premises, you are now practicing, you are now in, in quotes, practicing like a, a practitioner. So you will need to pay for that. There's no, nobody's asking you not to put your board on your church. But if you now put your board here, uh, FMC Junction, you have another one. Then you go to uh, Ceramics, you have another one. Then you go to um, maybe close to ShopRite, you have another one. You've taken up all of the commercial spaces. And then you say you will not pay for them. You know, so I don't know whether that is really what it is that they are talking about taxing, but it's 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 not reasonable that you will take up all of those private spaces that a practitioner could have used to, to do business and earn money and you know pay his taxes to government and help himself and then you take it up and then you say you don't want to pay for it. So as I said, I don't know whether that is exactly what they are calling tax taxation because uh, it's something that needs to be explained. But that, that's the situation. Okay, you know, before you uh, you said that uh, that is if actually it was a can from what you said that yes. wrote that letter. I mean, before you do that uh, and you. Say that they not really, you know, they say they are going to have a one on one with the governor if the opportunity permits and all that. But before you do that, did you also seek the permission of the governor? Did the governor approve that anywhere you see signposts of churches, you should go ahead and build them? It's in the law, sir. Okay, it's it's in the law that set up the agency. So, all posts that are what they call off site uh, boards. As, uh, uh, should be paid for even those that are on site. In other words, you own a business along uh, Abu Road. You will pay for the signage that you put there. Do you understand? But we have even given an exemption to the churches. We're saying if you own your boards within your premises, it's on your premises, and it's a small ten by five, ten ten feet by five feet. We would not charge you for it. Just like we charge other businesses, we will not. There's an exemption for the churches. We're saying that if you have that board outside of your premises, you now put it at strategic positions within the town. It, you, you need to pay for it because you're now you have not taken it beyond where your your site is to where business happens. So it's not as if it was the governor that directed. No, it's, there's no new law. There's no new law. This is what has been, the exactly. This has always been there. There's no new law at all. No law has been. There's nothing new. So it's just what we were doing our job. So tomorrow, uh, can meet with the governor and yes. the governor say, okay, step down on this. Um, don't you think? And you decide to do that. You're obviously going against the law. Is that not it? <laughs> well, the the. If we have to do that, then the law has to be amended. And I believe it was the House of Assembly that set up that law. So the House of Assembly can always change it. Okay, so before you can even listen or change whatever thing that is in the law now, it must go through the other state House of Assembly. So even if the governor say, step it down, you may not listen to the governor until the... Not necessarily. I believe that the governor as a chief executive officer mm. also has his, um, you know, has um, his good intentions to do what it is in, in, in view of... Um, having a human face. So, if it is that he wants to do something for the churches, and it's, uh, it's a, again, el every part of that law says it's within the prerogative of myself and the, and the governor to be able to change whatever it is that needs to be changed. It's there in the law as well. All right. uh, so, the first caller talked about um, those that are hanging flex everywhere and whether they are also under the um, tax force that goes, I, I believe that's what he wanted to say. Well, we have also sensitize the public that the use of flex you know you wake up one morning and then you see somebody has tied a flex somewhere or the other um and then we go around and we take them down now we have also said that this flex um they, they, they deface the environment and when they are when they get torn and they fall, fall on the ground they could actually also block the, the gutters and, and the waterways so we do not encourage them we don't encourage people to put flexes anyhow they please as i said we have now developed something that can be on the lampposts if you need to advertise anything it doesn't have to be on the flex it can be on the lamppost well structured and well constructed the next question was about taxi tax on churches i don't know why this is being called a tax it's not a tax it is the regular fee that you pay for advertising it's not a tax i don't know where the word tax came from um it's a fee and if you if you're if you put your business out on the streets and you put a signboard you're supposed to pay a fee for ad that advertising that you're doing and we have said that for a church if you leave your the church premises and where you put your your your, your uh, board your billboard that's about 10 by 5 feet nobody is going to ask you any questions but when you go out on the street and you put a billboard at fmc and then you go and put another one at shop right area those those are you're not doing advertising and you need to pay the fee for advertising it's not a tax so please let us get it um, right and if if uh, there had been the discussion with the governor on it before this was leaked by whoever into the press we would have been able to clarify properly it's not a tax please okay thank you let's take another call now hello good morning hello mr Gineka, good morning good morning welcome yes madam good morning good morning sir my name is Tago Tati Yedirim Diram, calling for the Ude Ueme. Oh, oh, oh. I know why I'm not. Yes, madam, I, I am aware that when the Tantadisetan will empower, they came up with it and they got it 
they, they, they said no to it. And that is mental. And this one is just so respect they didn't do well. We condemn almost everything they did. Why? Why is this particular mental that people cry not for? It's not trying to implement it. Say it will work. Remember that we are women. We are thinking, eh, this is my father. He did your leg, you know, Ketara. Then we are advancing, you know, you praying to God Almighty. Now that God, they thought that God has answered our prayers. Why are we not coming to the topic again? We ask them to stay chatting for that. To me, madam, I want to, I want to tell you to advise the people who made this law, our health members, and the God Almighty, to stay away from this because God, God, we should be given to God. I'm not taking from God. There are too many people that should be taken care of in the God. Uh, but thank you. Where you the next law, and not correct. Thank you. Thank you so much for your contribution there. Hello, good morning. Thank you so much. Welcome. My sister, you never regard their life. Amen. Excellent is my name. Thank God that you have gone to clarification. I want to say that when you are sex, you cannot know the difference between sex and an original. Until you like this original, you can see that I don't have an original. Everybody can tell me the moment they come to the middle of the and they are comfortable with it. What can we say? This is a sex step. And you are in I remember that. If you want to talk, it's not put a talk with the system. Do not care. And for that, the protest is there. They will not correct that from you. We know what will happen. Now, do you think I'm there? Please, 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 so, so what's your point? Just go ahead and make your point. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your contribution there. Let's take another call now. Hello, good morning. Good morning to you guys, sir. And good morning to the beautiful lady there. Good morning. Yeah, my name is Osman. I recall this morning from you to announce my cabinet of other days. Welcome. Thank you. First of all, I want to appreciate you, man. For coming to the streamer and for the social media for some days, man. I want to appreciate you for coming out to clarify those issues. I'm not only trying to generate in the house, I swear, but also directing those who don't know what to do sometimes. It's so for radio station and the radio propaganda. This is based on what this madam has said. This was demand to implement this law, and Mr. Moreto. This is the law of impact by Hadia State House Assembly. And this is Hadia State House House Assembly decides today that we don't need such law. We still have for the House of Assembly to be the next one. So I don't see anybody who come and start pointing hand on that lecture, you are pointing hand on that madam with the video. so much for your contribution there. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, sir. Welcome. Yeah, my great you. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Thank you very much. Please, I want to, I want to ask you a question. Have you directed your men to, to be on street to enforce this uh, law? So, I directed them to be on the streets. We have a task force that, that takes care of any of Already there are men on the streets going around now, collecting money, you know, disturbing people. I want to investigate that if they are really... Uh, collecting money, they are collecting cash. Yeah, they're going around. Yeah, some guys are going around, like I'm talking to you now. If I have your private number, I can send you details on where they are now. So you can just try to investigate whether your men have directed them to go on this journey. Okay. There's another thing that, um, you see, if you don't address this issue, um, it may affect Dr. Alex Come 2027. Make it clear for if you watch the uh, national news this morning at Kakia, you will see the kind of dust that indeed the place is placed on the bad image. And once that this matter should be addressed squarely, that people will understand it, that it will not cause no harm. Okay. 
Right. Thank you so much. I've made it clear that if the church has their sign board on their church premises, nobody's going to ask them anything. However, when you begin to advertise on 60 by 50 billboards, 20 by 10 billboards all across town, we're saying that you need to pay a fee for that. That's what okay. Prince Wise said you contested for House of Assembly, you know, being where that if you actually pay, how much did you pay? Is it for the advertising? Well, as I, uh, I also mentioned now that we said the your chairman pays and then as a councillor, you can ride on the back of the payment of your councillor. So as a House of Assembly member contesting under Labour Party, I rode on the back of the payment that was made, which I recollect to be about 10 million naira, that was made by Dr. Alex Oti um, uh, when he was contesting as governor. Let me, uh, Madoka Okoro, I think, uh, Madam Dibomma, you have done well. You see, I've been listening to radio station. I'm very happy that you came to Flu FM because I think they have more, uh, how would I say it, uh, more listenership. Because on the radio station, people are just trying to be very ceremonial, talking about a uh, charge against the state, uh, you are taxing. It's not tax, you explain it very simple. Churches have to pay fees. Everybody has to pay fees. You have explained it. The way the trial of Flu FM, no longer have a rapid one, they do all the real propaganda. They think that you are fighting against church. In Iranian, you are in my head. You are supported by law. Simple. It's not a diploma. It's not a so ah, thank you very much. All right, thank you for your contribution there. Okay, so madam, you, you have to respond to the uh, the caller before the last. Okay, so the caller before the last talked about having if you uh, open shop and you have an advert on your wall, uh, wherever it is you have it around your shop, would you have to pay? Yes, you need to pay for it because you are advertising your business, and there is there is also a, a, a minimum to which we do not charge as well. But a lot of people, I think, the belief among the businesses is that the bigger your advert is, the more uh, money that you make so a bit, no, nobody tends to put a little advert they always put the big big advert so yes you need to pay and we would multiply it by the uh, square meter of your the, the board and then tell you how much it is and then you pay for it okay so uh, another question is um for every assigned post what are the costs you know for each sign post i mean by the size and all that do you have costs for it yes um so that we calculate it by square meter so there is the off off premise and on premise so uh or free standing what we call a free standing so you have a shop and then you decide to build your own board outside of your shop and then you put that board maybe a little bit out of your own space mm -hmm. you know a lot of people do that they want to get more view, more viewership or more more eyeball reach so they put it a bit far away from them so that's what you call an um freestanding they call it a freestanding sign so for a freestanding sign uh one square meter to two square meter which is the way we have done it is fourteen thousand naira. so that's a freestanding you have built a board outside of your shop and you put it on the wood for people to see that's for one from one square meter to two square meter is, is fourteen thousand and fourteen naira. okay then you have the wall that's the one that's on your wall so the same one square meter to two square meter is just about five thousand two hundred and eighty naira. So if you kept to two square meter, for instance, this is what you pay five thousand two hundred and eighty naira for the whole year. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's take another call now. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Kinakawa Oloa. Welcome. Good morning, ladies in the house. Good morning. Well, you are proud to remember the beautiful name. I'm calling you from Umukroma. It is a lovely place. It is a neat and busy area in the city. Okay. Thank you very much, madam, for you have cleared it. You can, can advert anyone who is at the battalion is missing for money. And there's the many churches, ninety seven percent of churches that are around here now is business. Because a woman can cook fish in the kitchen, I let the woman pack her pot and place there. You see the pastor come there and celebrate and put her own his own signboard and the preaching and the clapping. Immediately the toilet, they are there they are here and there. So whosoever that sends the board on the on, on the street and the in the name of church or in the name of top or whatever, supposed to pay for it. Thank you very much. That's my humble contribution. All right, thank you so much for your contribution there. Um okay. I think uh, we are really out of time. Um before we leave the studio, Madam now this issue of time you know, you've heard uh, different views from people, Abians and everywhere, talking about the issue of uh, tax and all that. You know, you've said that uh, it's not a tax; it's a fee. Uh, okay, it's a fee that yes. you charge for putting up. Your yes, yes. So we are going to meet with the governor to resolve this. Or are you still going ahead with it? Going ahead with what? The, I mean, uh, collecting the fees for samples for churches. Well. <laughs> As I said, if you have a church within your premises, there's no problem about that. So if you have a, if you have your sign outside of your premises, 
then it's open to tax. Except if the governor says, you know, it's Otherwise. not. But it is what it is. This is what the law says, and it has to be done. Um, and we, I don't know that there is anybody who puts a, who has put a sign in their church. There's about five by ten that we've been, uh, we've told to pay because there's been an agreement with the churches on that. So I, I think that the issue now is on this tax. I think that's where the the problem came from. Mm -hmm. People are seeing it as a tax on them. It's not. It's just a fee that you pay for having advertising outside of your premises. That's what it is. Okay. I think uh, we should leave it up. Let me yeah. say thank you, the managing director, chief executive officer of Abia State Signage and Advertisement Agency, Honorable Victoria Dibuma Omubiko. Thank you so much, madam, for coming on the show and for making the uh, this controversy, you know, clarified. We appreciate you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.